Laws Enforced by the Wage and Hour Division, of the Department of Labor. By Human Resource Prep. Have you subscribed to this channel? Please do. Would you like to see more videos like this for free? Then please subscribe and click on the like button. What is the Wage and Hour Division? The Wage and Hour Division, WHD, enforces federal minimum wage, overtime pay, record keeping, and child labor requirements of the Fair Labor Standards Act. WHD also enforces the Migrant and Seasonal Agricultural Worker Protection Act, the Employee Polygraph Protection Act, the Family and Medical Leave Act, wage garnishment provisions of the Consumer Credit Protection Act, and a number of employment standards and worker protections, as provided in several immigration-related statutes. Additionally, WHD administers and enforces the prevailing wage requirements of the Davis-Bacon and Related Acts, and the Service Contract Act, and other statutes applicable to federal contracts for construction, and for the provision of goods and services. The Fair Labor Standards Act, FLSA, is the federal law commonly known for minimum wage, overtime pay, child labor, record keeping, and special minimum wage standards, applicable to most private and public employees. FLSA provides the agency with civil and criminal remedies, and also includes provisions for individual employees to file private lawsuits. The 1989 amendments to FLSA added a provision for civil money penalties, CMP, for repeated or willful minimum wage or overtime violations. The Family and Medical Leave Act, FMLA, entitles eligible employees to 12 weeks of unpaid job protected leave, for certain family and medical reasons. At the employee's or employer's option, certain kinds of paid leave may be substituted for unpaid leave. Employees are eligible if they have worked for a covered employer for at least one year and for 1,250 hours over the previous 12 months, and if there are at least 50 employees within 75 miles. The employee may be required to provide advance leave notice, and medical certification. For the duration of FMLA leave, the employer must maintain the employee's health coverage under any group health plan. Upon return from FMLA leave, most employees must be restored to their original or equivalent positions, with equivalent pay benefits, and other employment terms. The Employee Polygraph Protection Act, EPPA, prohibits most private employers, federal, state, and local government employers are exempted from the act, from using any lie detector tests, either for pre-employment screening, or during the course of employment. Polygraph tests, but no other types of lie detector tests, are permitted under limited circumstances subject to certain restrictions. Have you subscribed to this channel? Please do. Would you like to see more videos like this for free? Then please subscribe and click on the like button. The government contracts statutes set labor standards for wages and hours of work for employees who work on contracts with the federal government. The Davis-Bacon and Related Acts, DBA, cover workers on federal construction contracts and on construction contracts with state and local governments that are federally financed or assisted, in whole or in part. The McNamara O'Hara Service Contract Act, SCA, applies to workers on federal service contracts. The Walsh-Healy Public Contracts Act, PCA, applies to workers on federal supply contracts. The Migrant and Seasonal Agricultural Worker Protection Act, MSPA, set standards for migrant and seasonal agricultural workers, regarding wages, housing, and transportation. MSPA requires that contractors of migrant agricultural workers register with the federal government, and notify prospective workers of the wages, and working conditions before they are hired. MSPA also requires that providers of housing to such workers, comply with certain minimum standards for health and safety and that transportation providers have vehicles that meet certain standards for safety. The Wage and Hour Division has certain responsibilities under the Immigration and Nationality Act, INA. These include enforcement of the labor standards protections, for certain temporary non-immigrant workers admitted to the U.S. under several programs, D-1, crew members, H-1B, professional and specialty occupation workers, 
H1C, nurses, H2B non-agricultural workers, and H2A agricultural workers. The Wage Garnishment Provisions of the Consumer Credit Protection Act, CCPA, protect employees from discharge by their employers, because their wages have been garnished for any one debt, and it limits the amount of an employee's earnings, that may be garnished in any one week. CCPA also applies to all employers and individuals, who receive earnings for personal services, including wages, salaries, commissions, bonuses, and income from a pension or retirement program, but ordinarily not including tips. We offer a standardized online course for the PHR and SPHR. PHR SPHR Self-Study Course on Teachable.com The course includes basic, intermediate, and advanced resources designed to enable you to earn the PHR and SPHR exams, with over a thousand standard questions. Check out the link in the description box below. And with that we come to the end of today's lesson. Check out the description box below for additional resources towards earning the PHR, SPHR, SHRMCP, and SHRMSCP. Facebook Practice Group. Class Marker PHR, SPHR, Practice Exams. Books on Amazon. Teachable PHR, SPHR Online Course. Remember to subscribe and like this video.